Hey, good morning guys. Welcome back to the channel. Been thinking a lot about sustainability and doing things that we can make that are regular. And today is one of them. We're gonna kinda do a day in the life of, and just kinda hang out, bring you along. Let us know what you think of the video. This is kind of a new style of video I'd like to make more of. But if it sucks, let us know below in the comments. Appreciate you guys. What's he doing in there? I'm a little bit disgruntled with, we post a video about how to tie a peep in or how to sink your cans and we get all these views and comments. Tim puts a video of him smoking a white tail with 120 frame a second TKO rocking through its rib cage and it gets just a couple of views. So today I was like, no, nah, we're making a video about up shape. This is what I do every day. I work out every day. I do stuff that I absolutely suck at. I do things that I'm not excited about. And the payout for me is in September when I can literally be unlimited in the mountains, can chase any bugle and make a move on any elk as long as there's daylight left. Today was just a case in point, like today's Friday for us. This is my fifth day working out this week. Felt kind of garbagey, even slept in a little. Didn't get coffee, didn't get to take my morning poop. <laughs> Had to work out with these guys. Tim writes up stuff that I'm not good at on the whiteboard and we do it with a smile on our face because we know that's gonna pay off come you know, September, which is our Super Bowl. September is Super Bowl. So if you guys are watching, man, like fitness for me is just real simple. I don't wanna be a, a geriatric. I don't wanna be in the old folks home. I don't wanna be eating frozen TV dinners with a bunch of old people on a couch, barely a lot. I wanna elk hunt until I'm dead and I wanna elk hunt as long as possible. So I don't have a choice. I have to work out. I have to stay fit to keep a mental advantage and for trajectory for long-term. That is elk shape. And I just wanted to hop on here to do a day in the life of and kind of just get get this channel a little back towards the roots. We've done a lot of archery. Archery is really cool. It's but it's just a part of our lifestyles. We just want to me. I want to get outdoors and feel good. Chase elk. Feel good. I just want to feel good when I'm in the mountains. So fitness is a part of that. Archery is a part of that. Documenting that journey is a part of that. We want to share the things we do, make it super fun, be inclusive, not exclusive, but do it in the name of hard work and things that are going to prepare us to do the things we want to do. Yeah, the mountains make me feel good. I guess the one kind of takeaway that I have is just with new jobs and changing, like I've been able to come work out in the morning with you guys. So I've been working out at a normal gym. Yep and like holding myself accountable, like that kind of workout is a huge self check. It's been at least three weeks since I've worked out with you guys. That bike and the lunges like killed me. I think like three months. Yeah. Three months. <laughs> yeah. You wreck your, like three months maybe. It's been a while. Yeah, there is no push like the push of your peers and the accountability of the oh, clock. That was a good vibe today. Like all the boys were back together. We don't, you know, all our schedules are busy and we just got after it. And honestly, I'm not working out so I can see my abs. I'm not working out so I can wear tight shirts. What I'm doing is literally trying to give myself an advantage in the woods. Like to not have, like my buddy Drew says the best, I don't have laurels to rest on. So on our lack of talent is mitigated by our effort and discipline and dedication. That's what Oak Shape's all about. 
I can appreciate you, you guys. A little here. haircut today? Yeah. Can I give it to you? Yeah. So after doing the video with Josh on peep peep heights and stuff and peep sizes, I was I was outside shooting with this you know V327, and I noticed that I have a 730 seconds on peep installed, and man, I can't even get the entire housing. I can't. I want a little bit of daylight around the housing. Yeah. And uh, I just noticed that even with this pretty big peep that I couldn't see a little bit of daylight. So I'm gonna go from 7.30 seconds to a quarter inch here. And when I do peeps, I usually press the bow a little bit just because it helps the stream. I like it. This is a good improvement for me, honestly, to just where it sits. I, I needed to go bump up to a quarter. Mm. And I'm running a 730 seconds on my 31. Yep. I tried 316 and it's still no daylight around the housings. So these two 316 are for my long draw friends. If they ever need me to work on their bows, I'll just keep those. Watch out my staves. So this is a what, 10, 10 inch in the front with a 10 degree drop. Folks, we are rolling. Look at that, she's a beaut. Quarter inch peep, which is much better sight picture for me. Got a little daylight around the ring of the housing, which is inch three quarter. And for those wondering, I am shooting a Scott black hole. This this release is a straight up hinge with a clicker. Probably probably 12 years old. I want to test that flight. This guy is my tried and true. I've killed probably I think I've been running this three or four years straight now. And this is just Grim Reaper's Micro Hades three blade. So the Micro is just a smaller, I think it's inch and a 16th, but it is a three blade. So they make a four blade. I've shot bears with the four blade. I've shot deer with the four blade hit micros. I like the three blade. It does fly just a teeny tiny better, longer shots. It gives me a really good hole. And then it's got that chisel tip that man does that punch through that punches through bone really well. And it's made in America. Okay. Idaho is the only state in the lower 48 that doesn't allow lighter knocks. And then I got this 25 green collar. My FOC is like 15 and a half percent on this thing. It's insane. So those are my broad heads. So these Max Stealths are super quiet in flight, um, maybe compared to like the AEE Max Hunters or the Hybrid 26s. And I've tested all, and believe it or not, for me, I get better groups with Max Stealth at longer distances. And they do drop a little bit, just a little bit compared to the Hunters, but my groups were tighter. So that's why I sell only the AEE Stealths on Elk Shape. So you get a pack of 40, um, you guys have been awesome. I mean, I can't keep those things in stock. I started ordering way bigger bulk, so I'm expecting to be like locked and loaded good. But what I do is I, I use a uh, an Arizona Easy Fletch, true helical right or left. And I tell you what, I got tired of people asking me, what, how are you getting that? So I'm actually selling the actual jig on my website now and we'll get it shipped to you right away. And Man, I'm telling you, that has got like a six degree helical, super good for like trajectory, broad head flight most importantly. I don't see parachuting at all. It's just what works for me. I think it'll work for you. So my tried and true Grim Reaper, Micro Hades three blade. And once, one thing that I did this year, I'm kind of proud of, this can be a humble brag, is it came for contract renewal and I told Grim Reaper, I don't want to be obligated to shoot your broadhead exclusively. And they were cool. They like, they didn't hate me. I'm like, hey, I want to have the ability to tinker for my homies on YouTube. I am a free agent when it comes to broadheads on purpose. So I got the wide cuts from Iron Wheel. I got the solid 100s and then the vented 100s. I have some other Iron Wheels. Well. Worried about blood trails a little bit with the Iron Wheel, but I'm gonna be hanging out with the founder in Colorado coming soon. I'm probably gonna shoot a bear with one of these Iron Wheels 
lifetime warranty. You can resharpen it. They are expensive, but if you can resharpen it, it's got a lifetime warranty. It makes sense to me. This is just kind of Dana Life for Elk Shape. We still have content to create, podcasts to edit, podcasts to record, more videos. A lot of my day is spent behind the computer editing and making cool content and deliverables. And this is kind of just Elk Shape Prep 365. Yeah, that was 78 yards. How much wind do you think that is, Jake? Probably at least five, plus five. Plus five. All right, I'm not gonna shoot broadhead after broadhead and rune arrows, because they're too expensive and I'm not sponsored. Yeah, so let's uh, let's cruise down there. Let's see, I don't know. 78 yard shot, super tuned bow. Let's go check broadhead flight. Oh, all right. That's pretty good. If I end up hunting bears over bait, I want to use this wide cut for sure, just to tinker and to see what's up. But if I'm doing spot and stock bear hunting, I'm probably going to use that Grim Reaper Micro Hades 3 blade because it's just been doing what it does. This is elk shape. This is 365 prep, always tinkering, always working out, always trying to eat right, trying to just win the day. Do something a little bit every day to make yourself better as it pertains to elk hunting or whatever it is that your life goals are. My life goal, I just want to kill an elk every year. The slate's wiped clean. Thanks for guys for watching. Smash that like button, smash the subscribe button. If you dig our content, if you don't, buzz off. Appreciate your guys' support. Take care.